Hey there friends, how's it going today? We are playing The Sims where we will be doing our very own Squid Games. There will be no story spoilers. So this is our guy in control here, Jim Pickens. He's got a very fancy outfit and I've randomly created these other Sims and I've got Santa Claus involved too. Unfortunately for him, he's being dragged into it. He just doesn't realize yet. I'm going to give them 24 hours of free will in between each challenge to rest up. Whoa, 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 one of the challenges, but it's very impressive. They've got some extra little activities they can partake in if they choose to do so, but at the moment, they're just having a little chit-chat. None of them know anything about personal space, by the way. Oh, I just realized I called them all, like, zero and then their number, but now they're all gonna be referenced as zero, because it's zero four, zero three, zero five. <laughs> oh, no. It has been five hours of chit-chat. <laughs> oh, oh, one of them's doing push-ups. Okay. That's a sign. Someone has a brain. <laughs> they're preparing for something. One of them is angry <laughs> aggravating conversation then do something else <laughs> you can do whatever you want in here <laughs> so the first challenge will be a running challenge whoever gets off the treadmill first will be eliminated <laughs> so they really need to get their energy and i'm not that confident that they're going to do that i just hope santa doesn't get knocked out soon he's the oldest one here <laughs> oh they acquired the singing skill <laughs> they're like i know this is going to be karaoke i can just sense it i'm just getting rid of some of the chicken houses because my notifications are constantly just like, you're abusing your chickens. And while it may be true, I just don't want to hear about it. Now, they just don't have houses. It didn't get rid of them at all. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. Oh, I can sledgehammer the chickens. I think I'm going to break my game. <laughs> oh, people are finally going to sleep. Okay, this is good. This is good news for number two and number three. Santa, you got to sleep, dude. <laughs> Come on. They have six hours before the first challenge. Why are you celebrating with confetti? He's like, oh, yes. Yeah, unfinished sandwich. Oh, he just stole someone else's food. This guy is the villain of the piece. Number one. Oh, he's a bodybuilder as well. That's his aspiration. Whew, he's got a good chance then. Although his energy is pretty low. Number two has a fantastic strategy. Got a good bit of rest and is now going for some food. Oh, this is going to be so unbalanced. Someone is going to get off immediately and just get killed. The hell? What have you been eating? What is that? The other one's broken and this is... Pee like a champion. They're like, oh, I hope that the content Contest is a pissing contest. You've got one hour before the games. Now I'll do my copyright free version of the music. Something like that. It just sounds like an owl in, in distress. But that's my version of the Squid Games music. Okay, midnight. It is time for the first challenge. Let's get going. He's focused. He's ready. Number one is ready. Who's the least energy? It's number four or Santa. Oh, the others are really energized. Number five and two are ready to go. Oh, he was trying to work out. This guy. Too, li too late, I'm afraid. Okay, everyone's in their positions. Let's get going. It's not good that Santa's already like to sleep standing up. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's <is> delighted. <laughs> okay, everyone, get running. Come on, hop on that treadmill. I like how they change into the same clothes. <laughs> The different facial expressions. Some are very confident and then you get ones like this. <laughs> Not happy to be here. And again, Santa still has his eyes closed, even on the treadmill. All right, folks, let's get going and see who's going to get knocked out here. This guy is feckin' delighted. He's ready with his energized workout. Oh, this is actually tense. This is weirdly tense. I just hope Santa doesn't lose. I want him to stay in. Oh, no, he's nearly falling off. Come on, it's been like 20 minutes. You can do this. You can at least stay on there for an hour, everyone. Santa's making good pace. This guy is chatting while on it. No one wants to talk. Your life is on the line. They don't want to talk about how you hate flies. No, Santa! Why would you do this, Santa? Just out of curiosity, who would have gone next and how long would it have taken? Jesus, the others are staying on there for ages. He really was the weak link. You got kind of screwed here, Santa. I'm not gonna lie. Jesus, they're still going. No one has gotten off yet. Oh, Santa, you failed this with flying colors. <laughs> oh, there we go. He got off. That's surprising. He seemed happy out. He is happy out. Why did he get off? <laughs> he just wants to chat. I guess he knew the game was over. Why waste your energy? Okay, unfortunately, I don't have a way to like insta-kill them because, well, this is The Sims, but this is kind of more cruel. They've been sent to the Garden of Death where he's just, well, he's gonna be left to die. I will light him on fire just for a bit of fun. They're all getting their rest in. They've learned. They've learned. Oh, there's a fire next to them. Oh, God, they've woken up. Sorry, didn't mean to disturb your sleep. I don't 
don't want to cheat in the games or anything. Jeez, for a guy who can see you when he's sleeping and knows when you're awake, he's not that observant, is he? The fecker is on fire. Okay, so this has gone horribly wrong. The whole place is burning down and it's ruined their night's sleep. So uh, let's pretend this didn't happen. All right, that was much easier. I just cheated. <laughs> that works. All right, well, goodbye, Santa. Okay, you've 22 hours to go relax and hone your skills for the next challenge. Oh, mopping naked. Yeah, that could be the next challenge. <laughs> Who knows? It could be anything. Well, the other four are all sleeping because, well, they know they need their energy. This guy's saying, no, I must mop. This will get me extra credit. It's a bit strange because all of our contestants seem to be preparing in a similar fashion. They're all crying and pissing themselves. I'm calling a plumber to try and fix their toilets. I'm sure he won't question what's going on in here. Everything looks fixed up and is in ship shape. No, <laughs> no, it's not. You charged me for nothing. You didn't do anything. <laughs> Did you even arrive? The moods are pretty decent. Like, considering I'm just leaving to their own devices and they do keep pissing themselves. Oh, he's a bit sore from the workout yesterday. Don't worry, you've still got a little bit of time to rest. What are you doing here? What are you looking for? Go away. <laughs> no, don't leave her in. Okay, good. Yeah, just ignore her. Imagine that you go to visit your neighbor for the first time. Oh, she's a bit scared. What's going on down here? Are huh? you all complaining about the smell? Well, if you stopped pissing yourself, it might help. It's almost midnight. It's going to be time for the challenge. Oh, now you decide to go to bed. Well, you better get up because we're about to begin. The next challenge is a painting challenge. Whoever paints the painting worth the most money will win. The person who paints the painting worth the least money will be eliminated. If you don't finish your painting within 12 hours, you will also be eliminated. All right. Here are all our contestants ready to paint. You don't have to paint these, by the way. There's just little bits of inspiration if you want to paint any of them. You're all going to do a medium classic painting. Might want to get a move on there, villain. Or should I call you number one? I like how they're only acquiring the thing now. God, nearly all of them are doing the same painting except for this one. You are risking it all, aren't you? God, they're doing it really fast. It hasn't even been an hour yet and it looks like they're almost done. Jesus, this challenge is going to be over in no time. Is that person done? They are. Fucking hell. <laughs> That one's done too. The other one's doing a bit of a chat. <laughs> oh no, they're too uncomfortable to do the painting. Well, you should have prepared yourself sooner then. Why did you wait to sleep until 11 p.m.? They're all done except for the middle one. And I, I don't know what she's going to do. She's too uncomfortable. All right, in the interest of fairness, I'm unlocking the door so you can go back to your day-to-day -day life while the competition resumes with this lady. I was locking the door and it just says lock door for everyone but zero. That doesn't really clarify anything. Thing. She's pissed herself. Now if she can go to sleep for a bit, maybe she'll have enough energy, but I don't think this is gonna work. I think she's as good as dead. Right, she's getting her little sleep in. She's gardening. <laughs> you're in the mood to prune the bush, but you're not in the mood to do the painting, which could save your life. All right, she's as good as out. She can't get her mood high enough to actually paint. So let's do the judging. So contestant number three painted this one, and this is worth $64. Contestant number four painted this one, and it's worth $63. Dollars. <laughs> Contestant number two did not finish. Aww. Contestant number five, seventy dollars. Good job. And number one, sixty-two dollars. <laughs> he lost by a dollar. <laughs> the poor fecker. <laughs> He's being slain by an imaginary killer rabbit. <laughs> what a way to go. <laughs> we really don't make it easy, do we? Hey, Grim, got a lot of business for you today. What's up? <laughs> I like how he just happens to walk into and the vicious imaginary rabbit strikes again. <laughs> we may as well sell the paintings and get the money. <laughs> That'll really put a dent in our bills of $31,000. <laughs> hey, a lot like this takes a lot of electricity. I'm gonna put their urns on the countertop so they remember what's at stake, because I don't think they're taking it seriously enough. Also, I'm preparing the next challenge, so if you could just clean up the ash left behind, that would be great too. <laughs> Three people left, huh? You've got 12 hours to get ready for this next challenge. They're getting energy. They're learning. <laughs> this fella is probably probably got the best chance because he keeps himself in a decent mood and he's constantly training. He does have serious anger issues though. <laughs> he's at the mirror just trying to calm down now <laughs> and he's off to get some sleep. Yeah, that's smart. The other two are trying to cook at the same time, but too many cooks in the kitchen, I think. I just realized I never gave you an oven. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Let me get that for you. There you go. <laughs> just be careful. Don't put ash on it. It's like you go to pepper your food and you accidentally sprinkle some ashes on it. That explains why they've been eating so much salad. <laughs>
No, don't cry, dude. You're gonna have to sleep. Okay, good idea. I think they've been like, hey, so far we've had the easel and the painting challenge. We've had the treadmill and the running challenge. The next challenge must be a mopping challenge. <laughs> but no, it's just really bad plumbing. This place was built in secret by builders who were not qualified. <laughs> Oh, I don't know what that creepy whistle was, but that kind of suited it. That was better music than my version. They're all peeing themselves before the challenge, as is tradition. And stop. It is time. I think any Sims player understands this next challenge. <laughs> You're all going to get in the pool, and the first one to drown is, needless to say, eliminated. You're peeing yourself before getting in the pool. I respect that, you know. I don't like when people pee in the pool, but I never specified when people pee outside the pool. He's going for the back float strategy. That's a good idea. All right, there is is your cage. Now have fun at trying to live. They're both going for the floating strategy. He's just swimming away. <laughs> just gonna use as much energy as he wants. He's that confident. I think it's gonna come down to who is the sleepiest. And this guy actually has the least energy, but he is the fittest, so I don't know if he'll use less energy. I guess we'll find out. Baking is great. <laughs> he likes baking. Yeah, sure. Thanks for popping in. Just check in on us. He just drops by like, hey, I know everyone's in the challenge and someone's about to die, but can I just say I love baking cookies. Oh, energy's running low. Oh, Sims drowning to death. There he goes. Number three is gone. Oh, and he was like the favorite to win, I feel like. All right, just gotta get the others out of the pool before anything happens to them. I'm trying to teleport them out. Okay. Okay. That's not good. <laughs> get out of the floor, buddy. All right. Unlock the door. You can get back to doing whatever it is you want to do. <laughs> Sleep. I don't blame him. He just collapsed. Christ almighty. That is Grim. <laughs> He's just floating there. Well, speaking of Grim, where is he? <laughs> it's a 1v1. We got number five versus number four. Fueling up. I like that. Oh, it was a little gift. Onion bagels from Jim Pickens. And he's a good chef too. They're both getting some much needed sleep. I'll prepare the next challenge, I suppose. I gotta get rid of this pool. <laughs> There's a lot of work involved here. I like how the menacing music starts playing. <laughs> oh. My power just got turned off. Oh, this guy's working out. He figures he needs to be in tip top shape for the final challenge. Let's get those bills paid before someone shows up to inspect the place. Like, what could be draining this amount of power? <laughs> I went to, to look at the crops and I just see this and I was like, yeah, I was thinking that's what they might be doing to generate all these power costs. <laughs> this guy is just idling. It's kind of weird. <laughs> like, he's not doing anything to improve his mood. He's just standing there. You better not be plotting to work together or anything because that's not how this game works. Like, why are they having a chit chat if it's gonna be a 1v1? He's sleeping on the floors. <laughs> Some people never learn, do they? Oh, there's a thunderstorm. Someone up there is angry. <laughs> well, people down here are angry too. This kid's just giving up on all shame. He's like, so what? I'm gonna sleep naked. Deal with it. My life is on the line here. Oh, you know what that music means. Well, actually, I'm sure you don't, because I don't either, but it is coincidentally close to the challenge again. <laughs> Gentlemen, the game is simple. Do not wake the llama. <laughs> the first one to wake the llama is eliminated. We're going to make this best out of three, because this could be a pretty brief challenge otherwise. He was trying to practice. No practice allowed. All right, gentlemen, you may begin. And remember, do not wake the llama. He's scared. I'm not surprised he's scared. Holy shit, dude, you lost on your first go? Are you serious? It's like you didn't even try. I like how he brushes it off immediately, too. I like what's coming up here. Scream incoherently. <laughs> I don't blame him. There's a lot on the line here. They always start with the trash talking, but they respect each other for it. Okay, let's go. Round two. Watch that hand, mister. Okay, first go, fine. <laughs> Jesus, he's nervous. Come Okay, you got past your first go. Congratulations, a new personal record. Okay, we're gonna continue. <gasps> it's like they do know what's on the line or something, because the way they're doing it, they seem so nervous. Look at that handshake. Phew, okay, he's still in. <sighs> oh, that was confident. So mass. Woo! Whoa! <laughs> this guy! Okay, my money's on him. 
Yes! I mean, uh, the bad, I don't know. I should be neutral here. A good job completing the game. But that is game, I'm afraid. We have a winner of the first annual Jim Pickens Squid Games. You will now be killed by the vicious killer rabbit, which is also imaginary. I hope you're happy with yourself, young man. <laughs> he does kind of look happy with himself. Yeah, he doesn't mind this. Off he goes. His spirit has been taken. Sing epilogue. Yeah, I think that's uh, that's fitting. Go ahead, Jim Pickens. Go ahead and sing to them. I like how he just reveals his identity now. He couldn't be bothered changing. He just comes down in his pajamas. Valvaro. This is just part of your prize. Don't worry. You also get your freedom. Hey, 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 this is part of your prize. Where are you going? <laughs> you don't get your freedom yet. Wait, come back. <laughs> All right, fine. If you don't want the song, I guess that's your choice. He's just going to stand there instead. He's just singing away as this guy's making arrangements. So as I was saying, you get your freedom and quarter of a million dollars in cash to buy your very own house. There you go. There is your cash and let's get moving. All right, let's give you this lovely little cottage on the hill. Look at this lovely little house you've earned by killing all of your friends. And with that shot of a door, the Squid Games have been completed. But thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this scuffed version of Squid Games. If you did, consider subscribing. We'd love to have you around. I hope to see you all tomorrow, but bye for now.